We are in Yorkshire. It is cold, as you can see, but I'm actually loving it, and I've no not complained once about the, the That's temperature. That's not true. <laughs> it is true. No, it's not. I love the cold. <laughs> we are just on our way now to a coffee shop or a farm shop or something just to grab a coffee and walk the pooches. Here they are. How are you this morning, Keegan? Thin. Thin. Keegan's on a diet. Basically, he's got a photo shoot coming up for his own business because he's a coach and a PT, everything really. I am everything. Um, so if, you, if you're interested in that, if you're a gay man particularly, because he specializes in helping gay men, get their confidence back or get it for the first time. He's like, I should probably put what I'm teaching into practice. So he is being very good. He's lost how many kilos? Seven, eight. A stone, that's 14 pounds or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah about, for Americans about watching. 14, 16 pounds, yeah. That's amazing. So he's doing well. I've lost maybe two kilos. So like five pounds. But uh, I might have something at this bakery that we're going to. I know. And you can just watch me eat. You can have a sniff of it if you like. You're such a loving, caring boy. I really am. You want sugar in either? Uh, no, thank you. Right, got the coffees, but she liked me until I asked for oat milk. And then she was so like, ugh. But I said, can I get two Americanos? One black and then one, do you do oat milk? She was like, no. And before that, she was like, hiya, you're right. The classic, <laughs> yeah, all right. And then I was like, okay, just, just normal milk then for Keegan. And she just like ignored, she didn't even turn around. She was just really rude. And I was like, oh no, she obviously thinks I'm like some posh southerner asking for like an alternative milk. Mm -hmm. When actually it was for you. I mean, oat milk, it's not like it's groundbreaking. It's 2022. I know, exactly. But apparently it's too much for a little bakery up north. Fen is in need of some new Italian Greyhound clothes because they're looking a bit ratty because he runs on under barbed wire and it rips his clothes and everything. Keegan's been looking at, what's it called, Woofler? Yeah, the company that used to do them don't set, have his size anymore. And all the other Italian Greyhounds are really garish. Yeah, so just wondering if any of you have Italian Greyhounds or know where you can get Italian Greyhound jumpers. He wears jumpers, by the way, because he gets cold, because obviously he's not got long fur like Ava. I mean, even Ava gets cold, but let alone Fen, he's often shaking, so he wears a jumper. So if anyone knows of any good brands that don't make ridiculous garish clothes for Italian Greyhounds, just like a plain jumper. Yeah, there was lots that had like raincoats and Max and really high necks with like big lampshade collars on. Yeah, it's not really the sort of dog you can walk in Yorkshire with an outfit like that. <laughs> I, uh, we've just been to gym, as they say up north. Just had a shower in the gym because we're now gonna head off to Costco, which I haven't been to Costco in ages and maybe we might be looking at some tiles for Keegan's bathrooms because he's redoing the, the bathrooms. But yeah, that is it. I felt fatigued today. Did you? You work out hard, you get more sweaty than I do. Yeah. Because I just do slow, controlled reps. Are you saying mine are controlled? No, yours are, you're more like no rest period. Well, you do have rest periods, but you're more like, at the moment, your fitness for your rugby is like, go, go, go. I just don't like the gym. Yeah. So I you... don't like being in there. So I train hard. Yeah. And I don't mess about in between exercises. No. See, I mess about. Mm, I know. Why are you saying I know? Because you do. I work hard though. Yeah, you train. Yeah, thank you. I do up my weight as well. I've got six new PBs today. Right, let's go at Costco first or Tyler first. Tyler. Oh. Bow tie. Bow tie. We're going to get Keegan a bow tie. We're going to the Attitude Awards tomorrow, actually. Attitude. In London, which Attitude's a gay magazine. Gagazine. Gagazine. Um, and they have an award ceremony every year. So yeah, we're going to that. So um, I'm actually just gonna recycle what I wore to the Blogosphere Awards. So outfit repeater over here. <gasps> um, I know, sacrilege. Keegan's gonna wear a tux as well, but he doesn't have a bow tie, so. Lost it. 
lost it. But yeah, also there is a Tim Hortons up here, so we could get a drive-through decaf coffee. I'm just saying. Could. Could. Should. Should and would. Joel yeah. would. Will. Will. Shall. We've arrived in this shopping park and I can't wait to come shopping here in general. Like there's so many. They're all got everything. Nasty, no, this is where I'd spend like a really fun afternoon. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, whatever tickles you pick up, baby. Right? Absolutely. Would it do for love us all it. to be the same? Would it do? Well, it wouldn't. The thing is, I'm a basic bitch. I love commercial, like high street shops. I'm not one of these independent shoppers. Do you know what I mean? I'd love to be, but I'm not. I love Amazon. I love Marks and Spencer. I love, I don't know, HomeSense. You love Amazon. TK Maxx. Yeah. Shop local. Shop local. We're in my favourite shop. I told Keegan I wouldn't vlog because he's embarrassed to be in here because he doesn't like this shop. Um, we just stopped at Cafe Nero and got a flat wine. Shop local. A what? Shop local. Shop local again. Shop local. <laughs> you got an Americano. We're sharing a gingerbread man. Very nice. We've got a couple of bags of popcorn. Lovely. It's like a little mm. date. That's cute. Isn't it? We actually went on a little date night last night where we went to play snooker. Pool. Pool. Same thing. You hit balls with a stick. It was fun. I won. <laughs> Joel said, I said, have you ever played pool before? He said, yeah. So we went. He had it. <laughs> and then when I asked him, he said, when I was about five. Yeah. I remember my brothers played it and I ran around like playing with the balls. <laughs> Nothing strange there. <laughs> Yes, please. Look at this, guys. Huge. Oh, and what about the Nutella? You are just full of in your endos. In your endos. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, this is my favorite chocolate ever. And I've only ever seen them like this size. This is giant. Love it. Oh my gosh, chicken. Can we get one for the eggs? Oh, so cute. Oh, it's got jams in there. Keegan, it's got jams in there. Oh my gosh, the bakery section. <gasps> Chocolate chip shortbreads. They look great. These cakes are so good. I've basically tried all of these because we've got a Costco near where my parents live. The red velvet is a personal fave and the carrot cake. They've decorated the carrot cake well nice. Delicious. Only 10.99 as well. Bargain. Oh my gosh, yes, it's mince pie season and look how big these are. These are massive for mince pies and only five quid. Look how big these mince pies are. Question is, I've not asked you this yet. Do you like mince pies? Yeah. Okay, good. Phew. Belgian chocolate brownies, 6.49. That is amazing. So, so far in the trolley, I've got Diet Coke, whole pack of chewing gum. Well, some buffalo sauce, that's mine. The rest is Keegan's, really. Oh my gosh, please say that's an actual bar. Oh, it's, it's four bars. Okay. If that was a whole bar, I'd buy it. You okay? <laughs> is there any port scratchings? Uh, I'm tempted to buy one of these four packs of Lindor chocolates because these make really good gifts. You know when you just want to give like a gift to your postman, a gift to like someone you work with? They work out three pounds per box. And in the supermarket, they're like, it's double that. But I'll be too tempted to eat them, I think. Well, successful trip. And I'm pushing the trolley. Well, I pushed it the whole time, thank you very much. No, I didn't. Don't start don't an argument. Him, don't believe what he said. It is true, guys. Um, also, you're big and strong. I'm like, compared to, I used to be big and strong compared to most people, and now, compared to you, I'm not, so. Okay, so you should just be treated like a prince and not lift a finger ever. Exactly. Come on, load up. Guys, we just had lunch at Wagamama. Um, we're actually shopping now because I need to get some smart clothes because we've had a change of plan. We were going to the Attitude Awards yesterday, but we're not going anymore. Basically, I was going to pick up some semi-smart clothes for Keegan's family members. Family members. Family members. Wedding reception? Wedding. Wedding party thing. And I don't have any clothes, so I was like, we need to go shopping Very today. Very unconventional, but it'll be fun. It's more my vibe. It's slightly more casual. It'll be like picky bits. Love picky stand bits. Stand up finger. Stand up finger, as they call it up north. Or finger is that buffet. just a Keeganism, no, or is that that's that? a Keeganism? Okay. Finger um, buffet. <clears throat> stand up finger. You need to tell me these things because I'll I'll get embarrassed when I'm like, oh, up north they say uh, stand up finger, and then northerners will be like, what? <laughs> no, we don't. Keegan doesn't think I'm fashionable, so 
he's <laughs> no. I did ask I him. I never and actually he was, said that. No, he didn't. But I was read very, in. I was very diplomatic. Mm. Uh, you, you won't be the first boyfriend of mine to criticise my style, so... We can, we can soon change that. <laughs> oh, we love Penhaligons. That's what smells divine. It stinks. <laughs> stinks miserable. It smells nice. So pretty. Well guys, we got distracted by a closing down sale at House of Fraser, which is a big department store, and Keegan bought some Paul Smith jeans, and I bought two Napa Pajiri jumpers. Two, they were £70 each. I got two for £67. Bargain. How much were yours supposed to be? £125. And how much were they? £50. Bargain. Did we need either of those things? Absolutely not. Have we still got anything? We've actually saved money though. We have mm. long term, because one day we would need those things. Yeah, it's true. And now we don't. But have we got anything for your aunt's wedding party? No. Oh. It's because you won't buy anything. <gasps> it's because I see things and I'm like, it's not Adidas, therefore I don't like it. Look how nice this shopping centre is, guys. Right, we're first stop, Lou. Got a white t-shirt, guys, from Cos. Look how nice this bag is. Guys, we're in somewhere called the Corn Exchange. It's got some lovely independent shops and cafes. Shop this local. is cool. Shop local, we say, as we've just been to lots of chains. Oh, I might get a cake. This is so nice. You could definitely spend an afternoon here looking for things. Look at that over there, the Great Yorkshire Shop. Oh, dead good. So here's a juice bar, but I'm looking at the cakes. That's okay, Diet Pepsi's okay. Look how cool, this feels very American. Yo, babe, we're on a date. <laughs> we went for some Biscoff cake, guys. This is Keegan's diet. Keegan's diet going really well. Go on, try it. And it's, a vegan, it's a vegan cake. It's a Biscoff. It feels tough. Tough is not a good thing for a cake. Is it alright? No. No. Oh no. <sighs> Icing looks the best. It's not good, guys. He's right, it's tough. Is that because it's vegan or because they've, it's dry? I don't know. I don't know enough about cakes to pass judgment. That's not good. It's so tough. I don't even know if you can see this, but like... <laughs> Hey guys, I am sat by my fire. It is autumn, obviously. I, I said that as if you guys don't know. It is autumn, and my favorite part about autumn and winter is getting to light the fire. You can't really see on here, but this is my beautiful Victorian fireplace. I mean, I should show you in the daylight. You've probably seen it. Here you go. You can see the detailing and stuff. And it's just, it's tiny, but it's so cute and lovely and cosy. I really enjoyed this vlog, guys. You know me, I'm the first to be like, oh, this vlog was terrible, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But I edited this vlog together. By the way, I hadn't planned this vlog. I was just, this was just footage I have on my camera. Sometimes I just pick my camera up and film with no vision of what the final vlog will look like. And this was one of those occasions where I had no idea what this footage was when I edited it back. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I've really enjoyed editing this video. I just think it's really funny and I just, I like the fact that we're just doing normal things, but just having fun with it. It's, it's nice to finally be sharing my life with someone, you know, getting to do really fun, cool things together, like doing trips away and everything, but also just getting to do the normal things. Going to the gym, going to Costco, going shopping. It's just very nice. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed editing it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you're not a member and you'd like to become a member on this channel and get members only videos, you can do that. If you're watching this just as the video has gone live, that means Keegan and I are currently on our way to Holland to go on holiday with my family and we're meeting my mum, my dad, my brothers and their partners there and we're having a five day holiday in Holland. A Holland day, if you will. <laughs> so I'm very excited. I'm vlogging that for my members so if you want to watch our first big family holiday together then consider becoming a member. It's $3.99 a month. Cancel at any time. It's less than a coffee. If you don't want to become a member, that's absolutely fine. I make plenty of free videos for everyone to enjoy. I'm not going to stop that, so don't feel too left out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here and watching my videos. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.